Welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. Today we're testing three pet leveling techniques to see what is the fastest way to level up a pet in this game. I have three methods to test, one mining related and two combat related, and we'll figure out the advantages and disadvantages each method has. And at the end, we'll see what I would recommend you to use based on our results. If you want to see more ideas and content like this, hit the like button, it's the best way to let me know whether you enjoy something. And if you want to go the extra step, hit that subscribe button so you see more of my stuff in the future. And of course, lastly, if you ever buy any ranks, gems, or anything off the Hypixel, store. Use my creator code at checkout for a 5% off discount on anything you buy. My code is TOAD, T-O-A-D, just like my name, and your support means the world to me. You absolutely killed it with the fire sale a few days ago, so if you do, use my code, head down to the description, and join my Discord server. Show some proof you used my code in a support ticket and get yourself a special role. Anyways, we got a lot of stuff to test today, so let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing I gotta do is actually set up some stuff here. By the way, I'll be using my uh, Golden Dragon Unhatched No Pet item to uh, do all of these tests today so it is a combat pet keep that in mind different kinds of pets gain levels at different rates which is why i'm going to be doing uh, a mining test and then two combat related tests because well if i did farming or like foraging or something it's, it's just gonna stand no chance let's be honest but but mining does actually stand a decent chance because this is actually what i've used as my preferred way to level up pets in the past and i already know it's pretty good but does it compete with these two combat methods i have in mind i want to test today well we're gonna have to find out and first off i actually need a set to grind combat because well, if you look at my, uh, my crimson here, it doesn't have veteran on it. Neither does, like, any of my equipment. So, uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of, uh, building here of our class, basically. Uh, I found this helmet in a chest. It doesn't have stars, unfortunately, which is, you know, a little bit of a bummer. But it should be okay for this if I just go ahead and slot fierce because I have an idea on how to make this good. We basically want as much single hit damage as possible. So we're going to go over here and uh, grab... Actually, I probably want magic find on this for this first thing. Yeah, so we're going to use magic find on our enrichments, which is fine. I'm using the... I believe it's the strong or the hurtful. Yeah, hurtful reforge with, uh, you know, crit or tunings to uh, even out my stats a little bit. I'll probably be using the Daedalus Axe and eh, it should be fine. Uh, I may actually end up swapping my... Uh, chest plate over to necron just for a little bit extra damage but let's go ahead and see what our first method is we're going to be using this is one that's fairly common and uh some people know about it and it's going to be grinding ghosts now i've actually never done this uh the last time i fought ghosts was when i wanted sorrow armor on my iron man like two years ago or something so i have little to no experience killing ghosts but i've heard it's absolutely cracked for uh, getting combat xp now, the thing is, with the Crimson Armor, uh, it has that set bonus where as you stack kills, uh, you get that extra swipe perk. So it looks like I'm dealing about 300,000 damage right now, which is all right, but it's not going to be enough for what we need. But you can see this little number down here uh, go up. It's four right now, and it'll go up to five and then six. Once I get this up to 10, we will get our armor set bonus, which does a fancy little swipe. And this swipe should help us one-shot these ghosts. So I think now if I do this, it... Okay, it doesn't quite one-shot. It looks like my damage is a little bit low from, you know, being, like, low-starred crimson. So I might have to actually put some stars on this crimson helmet just to deal enough damage. But uh, another thing we need to do real quick before I can actually start testing is fix our equipment because this will give us some damage and uh, uh, more veteran levels so we get as much XP as possible. Now, I'm probably just going to go with this gauntlet, honestly, because I need the extra damage and I'm probably going to use a cloak that has dominance as well. Hopefully, I have like a dominance vitality cloak. It looks like we're going to be stuck with this dom mana pool. So I don't have as much veteran as I would like to, unfortunately, but this may end up being what we have to deal with just because I don't really have any other options. I do have an idea I could turn this Valk into, uh, or I could turn this Hyperion into a Valk instead, but I don't really want to do that, so we need to be dealing about 450,000 damage. We're dealing about 400,000, which is good, but it's not enough, so let's go ahead and turn our Hyperion into a Valk and see if that helps. All right, I've got the Diamantes handles, and I actually wanted to change this, uh, off of a Hyperion for Master Mode eventually anyways. Yeah, look at that damage stat, look at that crit damage. Oh, the crit damage is the same. Uh, okay, we get damage and strength, so that's not too bad. So I guess we'll do this. It's heroic. Um, I don't really want to, like, invest a whole thing of, like, into withered or anything, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and slap kind of whatever decent... What do people even use? Do they use spicy still? I remember spicy used to be good, but I haven't done like a melee reforge in a long time. If spicy is terrible, I'm sorry, but this is the last one I remember being like good for single hit damage. So uh, it should be good. If it does enough damage, then that's probably fine. That's all we really need it to do. But uh, let's see. It looks like I'm going to need more crit damage or more strength. So if I could actually click on this NPC here, let's go ahead and just dump all of our stats into strength. 
there we go. And it looks like, ooh, we're still missing some strength, which isn't ideal, but I don't think there's anything I can really do about this. I think this is as strong as we're going to get, so this will probably end up being what I'm going to use. Let's go ahead and test our damage again. You know, once this golden dragon's level 100, I'll deal like way more damage, so this will probably be a, a lot better uh, if I don't one-shot this, so I may have to come back once this is actually level 100 uh, to do this a little bit more properly, but I guess we'll see if I can do this first. If I don't end up one-shotting them, I will do something else first, and you'll probably never see any of this clip. So we're at 10 stacks. Do I one-shot them? One click. Uh, that was a ferocity swipe. That was also a ferocity swipe. Uh, okay, that wasn't. Do I one-shot them? I do. Okay. So I should feel confident just running around doing this and letting the fire aspect kind of just take uh, control of the rest of the damage. I heard there's something that could be bad if you have them against a wall because like the crimson swipe doesn't work for it work or something like that, but it looks like all of these are getting one shot, I believe, so that's good. We just kind of need to keep the ones away from the wall or we don't want to hit the ones that are near the wall, but it's looking like all of these are getting one shot just eventually, so you know, I think we might try this. I might try and get some more uh, veteran, but I think I'm going to go ahead and start doing this. Let me get to a nice easier number of uh, pet XP to start our test at, and this will be our first test of the day. Okay, so I think I have a decent way of testing this. Uh, I am using the not enough updates pet overlay here, and it should show our pet EXP per hour rates. So if I just start taking out some of these ghosts here, it should start roughly showing me my XP. Is there a way to like restart the timer or something? Um, probably not. Uh, I guess it's okay. Uh, we'll just kind of keep it like this. So we'll see how long it takes to level up the pet if I just kind of go as fast as I can and start one-shotting them now like this. Uh, we should see that rate hopefully go up and see, you know, just a rough estimate of how much we're going to be uh, getting per hour doing this. So I'll let this run for a few minutes so it catches back up. I'll try and like restart it so it actually is a little bit more accurate than it is uh, and we'll see how much xp it thinks we're gonna get an hour from this and we'll probably just use that as our baseline because uh i mean hopefully it'll be consistent between uh different skills hopefully it's not like uh doing any weird addition i'm not too sure but uh, i guess we'll see how long this is going to uh take how much we're gonna get an hour and i'll see you in a few minutes so it looks like we're right around the 1.5 mil mark if I'm doing pretty well. I'm gonna start talking, so it's probably going to tank here any second, but I'm doing my best. I'm definitely not good at this. There are definitely people that are way better and can probably get, you know, a lot higher rates than I am right now, but... I saw it peak at 1.8, so maybe it would be safe to call this 1.8. I mean, I'm sure if I practice this for a little while longer, I would end up getting some better rates, but it's looking like it's going to be right around... I guess it is going up to about 1.6, 1.7, isn't it? Maybe I should call this 1.6 instead. I guess I'll keep talking for another couple seconds. 1.7? Should I call it a 1.7, 1.8? Dude, what is this? This is actually kind of good. I was, I'm actually pretty surprised about this. Not to mention that it uh, gives sorrow as well, which I believe sells for a de decent amount of money. All right, you know what? I'm going to stop here. I'm going to call this at 1.7 mil pet XP an hour uh, with no pet item or anything. Uh, I got eight sorrows during this test, and I think sorrows sell for a little bit of money, don't they? Uh, if not, how much is eight sorrows is what? A chest plate. So, uh, oh no, it's not. It makes more than that. And I can't seem to see sell prices right now for some reason. Well, uh, I remember sorrow sells for a little bit. So this also has some money that comes to it if you're not Iron Man. Of course, I'm Iron Man, so I might as well throw these in the void. But a 1.7 mil pet XP an hour for the ghosts, that's not too bad. Let's go on to our second test. So this next method is a little bit more unique and probably something you may not know, and that's actually killing flares for combat XP. Now, it's important to note that if you don't have a gauntlet of contagion, you can't do this. It just doesn't work. You need a gauntlet of, cont of contagion or you'll not get even close to the same rate. Now, I've actually never done this, so I don't know what to expect, but I've heard it's actually insane. Now, uh, unfortunately, the pet XP trackers over here, they don't work when you're using a Hyperion. I don't know why, it's just something that happens. So instead, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use this XP total here from uh, Skyblock Extras. And we're going to start at 817,950 XP. I'm going to go and just kill flares with my hype for six minutes. And then at the end, we'll see how much XP I get. I'll just like kill one zombie in the hub or something that gives as little XP as I can. And uh, the number will update and we'll multiply the difference by uh, 10. And that'll be our estimated hourly rate. So I guess I'll go ahead and take out flares for six minutes. Hopefully, I don't run out of mana. So it turns out I'm not good at grinding flares and my gear isn't quite on par with what's needed. So instead, to give you a much better answer, I had one of my guildmates, Joey Lamal, record a six minute test with a level one epic magma cube pet without a pet item. So its gains are identical to my dragon egg. And he actually does this really well. It more than doubled the rates I got when I was trying flares. So the footage you're seeing right now is from
from him. Thank you, my dude, for sending me this. And he ends up getting about 500k XP in just six minutes, which is, well, 5 million XP an hour. And that's without a pet item. If he used one, it would be upwards of 7 million or more, which is absolutely crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room, a crimson room, a crimson room with flares. Flares make me crazy. But anyways, I'll touch on this later at the end of the video. Let's move on to our final method. And for our third method, you probably already guessed what I was going to show, and that is my personal favorite way and how I leveled my original level 200 golden dragon. Mining mithril in the mithril deposits with set coordinates. I have nine different little places here that you can go through and dig out, and all of these have a massive ball of mithril, and by the time you go through and break all of these, they all respawn, and it's very, very easy to set up, and uh, it doesn't require nearly as much of a setup as the other two. You don't really need full Devon, but you know, the higher your gear, the better this is going to be. The biggest thing is having a high efficient miner and seasoned mine men, and uh, Pig Obelisk also is very important. Uh, try and get your Heart of the Mountain up so it's level 2. If you have the Blue Goblin Egg and make it level 3, it's even better. I have a level 2 ability, I don't have the blue goblin egg, but this is still very, very powerful. So, honestly, I'm just gonna show mining through it a bit, and you'll see how much this makes. Hopefully, uh, my first picobolus did basically nothing, so, uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. But, I'll show you the rates I get. I haven't done this in a little while, so I might be a little bit rusty, but I should hopefully be getting some at least decent rates doing this. Uh, again, no pet item, and uh, this does take into account the uh, nerf you get for it not being a combat skill. Instead, we're getting uh, mining XP, so there is a small deduction for that. Actually, I think it's a pretty major deduction, but you can already see my XP per hour is, well, uh, 3.4 million. This is just, it's just better. It's just better in every way. It's so easy. Literally almost anyone can do this. You don't need much gear at all. You don't even need a drill. I mean, you can do this with a glowstone or not a glowstone gauntlet, a gemstone gauntlet for sure. But you just do this. You can see I'm getting easily three mil XP and there's usually frequent events that give extra mining XP like uh, Mayor Cole gives like 60 extra mining wisdom or something. Fiestas give even more. It's absolutely crazy how much you can get with this thing. Uh, with a mining XP boost pet item, you can get upwards of like 6 to 7 mil an hour, and that's without any coal or mining fiesta. So if you get your coal and mining fiesta together, you can get a absurd amount of XP on your pets doing this. And the nice part is, well, this just works with any pet. It doesn't have to be a combat pet, it doesn't have to be a mining pet. I know different uh, pets have different, like, uh, ratios of how much skill XP you get for using the incorrect skill. But at least for combat, it's absolutely cracked. And well, for mining, it just makes mining pets absolutely free to level up. I mean, if you remember my Endermite pet, I think that's a mining pet, right? Uh, yeah, it's a mining pet. Uh, that thing, I leveled in just like an hour or something. It was actually crazy. So, uh, we're almost to another pick obelisk here. Uh, this is not a good place to use it, so I'm actually just gonna ditch this one completely and go over here, dig into it a little bit, and there we go. That one gave a lot more, and you can see I immediately went back up to the 3 mil an hour rates before, even though I have to run between these different balls. It's just so fast. Like, honestly, this is my favorite method. And the best part is, you make money, even on Iron Man. Like, this is making a decent amount. Obviously, it's nowhere close to, like, gemstones, especially it's nowhere close to armadillo, but I'm pretty sure this is still, like, 7 to 8, maybe even 9 or 10 mil an hour, which is, you know, not bad at all when you're just trying to level up a pet. And of course, the longer you do this, the more you'll get used to, uh, you know, switching between blocks. And uh, you'll probably get more uh, EXP than even I'm getting right now. I remember back when I was doing this, like, closer to the end of my grind, when I was all warmed up for this and stuff, I was getting like 4 to 5 mil XP an hour with nothing else special. So uh, I can't wait to see what I'm gonna end up getting with, like, a pet item and everything, because honestly, I'll probably just do this to level my own G-Drag again, because it'll be nice to get my bank back, and it's just easier than, like, you know, grinding flares or stuff. People don't really grief you doing this because there's no reason to. And if they do, it takes approximately 10 seconds to set up your lobby again. I mean, I did this, I, it probably took like less than a minute to actually run through the nine coordinates. You don't even have to set it up. You can just start mining and you know, the first time you go through this, your route will be finished. So yeah, um, I'm gonna call this at 3.5 mil XP an hour for the sake of our test, which is more or less double what we were getting from everything else. I do know flares have more potential. I was told that that wasn't really the best rates you can get. I have a guildmate who says you can get like 7 mil an hour with a pet item under like optimal conditions and stuff. So uh, there's a chance flares could also be really, really good. But if you're Iron Man, this is probably gonna be your best bet. 
Anyways, uh, let me gather some data. Let me see if I can get a little bit more of a uh, coherent uh analysis why am i just saying random big words i'm just gonna compare these a little bit more and give you a conclusion of what i think so i've got some signs over here that have my thoughts and forgive me if the formatting is a little bit weird i'll try my best to explain it so i have the three different types we did the second line i wrote how much xp an hour we got from them the third line is the setup and the gear required to actually do the activity well and then the fourth line is split up into if it makes good money or not. On the left of the slash is if it's Iron Man, on the right of the slash if it's a regular profile. Now, uh, I actually don't think that my flares test was very accurate. Uh, one of my guildmates, I believe it's Joey Lamar right here, uh, said that he makes around 7 million pet XP an hour with flares. So I'll throw up a clip of him in the uh, top right or something uh, that he recorded, thank you very much, man, of him just doing flares for 6 minutes and then showing a level 1 combat pet uh, going from level 1 to whatever it gets to, and the total XP it gets over 6 minutes. Because it's gonna be a lot better than whatever I did for that time, because I was not doing it right, apparently. So, starting off with Ghosts, we have 1.7 mil an hour XP. Seems to be about normal. You could probably get up to 2 mil if you were doing it pretty well. Uh, again, this is if I don't have a pet item, so if it has pet item, you know, add 40 to 50% based on if it's combat or if it's mining. Uh, in terms of setup, you need a pretty decent setup to do ghosts, probably like a giant sword. I've heard you can do it with like uh, some other stuff too, but uh, if you're having trouble one-shotting it, you basically have to use full crimson to do it, which kind of requires some decent gear, but it's nothing too crazy. Uh, for Iron Man, it makes no money. It, it, it's not the worst thing ever, but it, it's pretty bad for money. Uh, on a regular profile, it's good. I mean, you get to sell the Sorrow, you get those 1 million coin bags. You probably get to use your Daedalus Axe because you'll deal a little more damage than I did. Uh, I've heard it's pretty darn good. Uh, for Flares, it's anywhere from I got 1.8 mil, but uh, again, I have a guildmate who gets way more. So uh, 1.8 mil to whatever he ends up with in the top right, right there. XP an hour. It's apparently crazy for uh, XP on a normal profile. But you do need a basically end game setup. I mean, you need the top of the line Aurora armor, a great Hyperion aura. If you're using a Crimson set, there are some other ways to do it. I didn't have enough mana to do it in Crimson. I tried. It just didn't happen. Uh, I don't know what Joey's using as of right now, but he might be in Crimson. He might be in Aurora. I'm not too sure, but you need pretty high gear to do it. Uh, for money on Iron Man, again, it's trash for money. You're not going to make anything. But on a regular profile, you actually make a lot of money from like leveling up and selling pets. Uh, and some of the drops it gets, like the Gazing Pearls, sells for a little bit, but mainly you'll get all of the money from leveling the pet. And of course, lastly, is my favorite Mithril. It's around 3.5 mil uh, pet XP an hour if you're not having any events going on at the time, which is pretty good. Better than I got on the other two tests, but probably not quite as good as flares for regular profiles. Uh, it doesn't require that high of a setup. In fact, I'd say it requires the lowest setup of any of these. And uh, you'll get Mithril Powder as you do it, so you'll level up your setup as you do it, so it's pretty nice for that. You don't need super high-end gear for it. And for Iron Man, it by far makes the best money out of any of these. It's actually one of the better ways to get money on Iron Man in general, so that's pretty nice. And uh, on a normal profile, it's good. It's probably lower than Flares in terms of how much money you're making. But again, it doesn't require as high of a setup. So, uh, you know, weigh those two options as you can. But in conclusion, if you're Iron Man, just mithril it's just the best it's just the best by far it's not even close uh if you're a regular profile if you have the gear for it flares are the best but if you don't you know just mithril mine like iron man honestly i just recommend mithril personally but you know check out flares if you do have some later gear you might find some good success with it but uh i guess for my golden dragon i'm gonna be doing mithril uh i'm gonna wait for the bestiary update to drop and i'll give it a combat xp boost and get all of the bestiary xp from that and then i will probably switch it over to a mining xp boost and just grind it up to level 200 like I did with my first pet. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode of Hypixel Skyblock Iron Man. If you enjoyed or are looking forward to me maxing out this level 60 to 200 golden dragon pet, hit the like button. I'll try and share some of the uh, grind, some of the journey to uh, in, in videos. But for now, that's it for today. Uh, use my creator code at checkout if you're buying anything off the Hypixel store. You get a 5% off discount for using my code. It really helps me out a ton. My code is TOAD, T-O-A-D, just like my name and your support means the absolute world to me. But that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.